everyone and welcome to another royal reading. It is Women's Day here in South Africa, a public holiday uh, to celebrate us women. And sadly on this day, the news broke that the lovely Olivia Newton-John had passed away from breast cancer. Very sad. She was a wonderful woman, full of light and uh, just had a fantastic voice and a fantastic energy and so thoughts with her family and with all the people that are left behind and are grieving and she was a real icon and uh, so i just wanted to acknowledge her today you can see that i have the shadowland tarot out on the tarot table today it's the embarrassing tarot deck i think we can call it that and what has happened to that is embarrassing is that of course Thomas Markle Jr. has started a YouTube channel. It's pretty crass, it's gutter humor, but he does come across as someone who is really real and human and funny, uh, albeit in that quite crass way, very much ca uh, concerned about his father and uh, he's using humor and he's using YouTube to get back at his half-sister. And uh, today's one that I just happened to catch was family counseling. And uh, in it, Prince Harry phones Thomas and has a good old whinge uh, about Meghan uh, withdrawing her marital favors, shall we just say, and um, Thomas advising him. And it occurred to me watching it, I'm a bit slow on the uptake really, they're actually brothers-in-law and uh, that's really quite mind-blowing when you realise that Megan responded to Thomas's request for help according to the story that Thomas told on his channel about asking for help when the news of her relationship with Prince Harry broke and the paparazzi were on the phone and they'd found out where he lived and private details about him and he was just asking for help and the response eventually came back she doesn't know those people she doesn't know them very hurtful. I mean, the level of hurt and that is just extraordinary. So, as I say, he has responded with humour. It's, it's gutter humour, but it's still humour. And um, he is enjoying himself, I think, very much. And um, so we're going to just do a quick five card reading and see how embarrassing is this for Megan. Has she watched? Does she know? Has she watched? How she feels about it? How Harry feels about it? his brother-in-law being on YouTube? and um, telling things, things that Harry might not want to hear ultimately. And uh, uh, the outcome of this for Brand Sussex, how embarrassing is this going to be? What damage is it going to do, if any? Uh, it could just disappear like Thomas Markle Senior's channel disappeared with that awful photographer. My opinion, and let's remind you, tarot reading, entertainment purposes, just my opinion. Disclaimer in the box below. I uh, don't think Thomas Markleless Jr. is going to sue me for this tarot reading, but you never know. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. And uh, we get the Two of Cups. Here is the underlying energy. And it is about people that you love, actually. Um, not always romantic relationships, just people that you love. And he said over and over and over that he's doing this for his father. Very much, he said he went on Big Brother in Australia for his father. He's doing this for his father. His father obviously now can't do his own YouTube channel and um, express himself because he have, has of course had that stroke and his speech is compromised. He can seemingly write, but he can't do it. So Thomas Markle Jr. has taken it upon himself to entertain us. And uh, there it is. That is what the Two of Cups is about. Uh, in the upright position. So just tell us about the situation, the heart of the matter of this channel and its connection with Meghan Markle. And we get the temperance card. Temperance is about harmony, is about balance, is about being moderate. And he certainly, he could come out with guns blazing and he could be really nasty and vicious and cold and ugly. He's not. He's using humour. He is using his own intelligence. He is using his own humanity. 
as a kind of tempering energy in this channel to respond to his um, the, the very heartless treatment at the hands of his half-sister. Very heartless treatment. The dog has come to join us and to talk. Um, we have been doing some singing today in the house and the dog has joined in, but he's still... Um, I think, thinks that the singing is still ongoing. It's not. But it is about balance, about harmony, about evening things out and healing. Temperance card is a lovely card, actually. And um, again, I get the idea that this is to do with his father and, and perhaps helping to heal the hurt that his father has experienced. He's experienced his own hurt. I don't know those people. I don't know those people. It's very biblical. It's very the cock throwing, crowing three times, excuse that. And um, betrayal, absolute betrayal. When you're betrayed by someone that's that close to you, it's the worst thing that can ever happen. So do the Harkles know about this? Have they watched Thomas? Uh, and in his performance, yes, they do. The Hanged Man in Reverse. That is coming out of limbo, coming out of... A period of inactivity and um, having to deal with somebody who's suddenly busy somebody who was very quiet very contained away tucked away out of sight out of mind who has suddenly burst on their consciousness <laughs> the hanged man in reverse that is quite funny because it's major arcana we're getting major arcana here thomas has decided to take the matter into his own hands and deal with it. I think he's waited and waited and waited because the hanged man, when it's upright, is a waiting energy, just hanging around in limbo, waiting to see which way the wind is going to turn. The card is in the reverse. He has come out and um, he is now taking charge of the situation. He is acting and they are aware of it. They are aware of it. They, they can't avoid it. They can't avoid this sudden busyness from someone that they thought they had shut up at some level or wouldn't bother with this. Um, and of course he's been busy with his own troubles in his life. Thomas hasn't had an easy life. And, um, but now I think because of his father's ill health and because of Thomas Bauer's book, Tom Bauer, excuse me, or confusing with all these Toms in the story. And um, I think he is feeling emboldened to actually get out there and tell his side of the story and yeah they know they know they can't avoid it um, they are forced to see it because the hanged man is about perspective seeing things from a different point of view and when the card is in the reverse you finally actually do see things from a different point of view and this particularly is a feeling to me like a Prince Harry energy. A Prince Harry might be secretly watching it in the in the chicken coop or wherever he is. And Thomas Markle Jr. certainly knows all the in jokes about Harry and Meghan. Um, obviously, is very up to date with what's going on and all the jokes going around about them in the chicken coop and whatever else. And uh, I would say that if anyone is watching it, it could actually be Prince Harry. My opinion, remember, of course, it's speculating. Let us see how Meghan Markle feels about this latest mortification from her blood relatives, King of Pentacles in reverse. There's the earth sign man and as far as I can remember, I think Thomas is a Virgo. I uh, could have that wrong. I know you have told me in the comments uh, before and I'm trying frantically to remember. I'm sure he's a Virgo, but that is a of an earth sign man it's in the reverse that is the shadow side of the earth sign man the earth sign man who's making a mockery of her um and also probably a little bit worried about how her own king of pentacles in reverse is going to respond to this that's prince harry um so a quite interesting energy there that it, it is a male a very dominant male energy kings are dominant male energy um in their sort of prime expression and when it's in the reverse it is shadow expression of that energy so it is that um, pretty grubby humor that mocking that jeering um uh, embarrassing embarrassing for her seeing him behave like this and knowing that we all see him behave like this as well this isn't exactly how the royal family behave and how she would probably like to pretend um uh, happens in her life this is the real <laughs> this is the truth this is the pretending 
in reverse, actually down and dirty. This is how we really are. We really are this grubby, scruffy. We really do make these kinds of jokes. And uh, this, is, this is your family. These are the people you claim you don't know. This is who we are. This is who you are. So how does Harry feel about this? Ooh, ooh, another big card. Hermit, hermit in reverse. <coughs> I was feeling the hermit energy was the hanged man. I actually nearly confused the two cards and said it's the Virgo card, but it's not, of course, the hanged man. Uh, we've got Neptune there and we've got Sagittarius there. And of course, the hermit is the Virgo card, the major arcana for Virgo. We've got, I think open to correction here, two Virgos, two male Virgos in the mix here. Prince Harry card, of course, the Hermit in reverse. This is cringe. This is, um, when, when the Hermit is upright, it's quiet, it's, it's withdrawn, it's contemplating, pondering, wise, um, thinking, finding their own true path. In the reverse, coming out of hiding, we've got two indicators in this reading of somebody who has decided to stop being private and withdrawn and to actually just go public and be as embarrassing as they possibly can be for the aim of healing a situation or balancing a situation. And it cringe cringe for him to see this um, because it exposes him as well the hermit in reverse this counseling one i think particularly is going to be painful for harry to watch and i don't think he can resist watching it because it really makes a mockery of their marriage it really makes the point that he and thomas are related very closely related and in-laws are in-laws forever even if you get divorced even if you move continents away they are still your in-laws you are still connected um and prince harry might just have realized that that this is going to be in his life forever and cannot get rid of it but yeah he he, he is i think appalled um by the spectacle uh because the hermit in reverse is unwisdom is is caricature is silliness is being exposed and uh, all of those things apply in this reading very much so and uh, how is this going to go how's it going to impact harry and megan going forward this thomas markle's channel uh, what is what is going to be the outcome of it when we get knight of wands in reverse um embarrassment shade the knight of wands is very much a prince harry card for me always the uh, intemperate prince the person who is hot-headed, impetuous, impulsive, they might actually do something, respond in some way, try and retaliate in some way that is ill-considered and ill-advised, um, have a bit of a temper tantrum and try and shut him down or, or, or respond. Uh, but it's going to be ill-advised. It's going to backfire if they do. But I think Harry in particular is going to get more and more incensed by this, more and more outraged, more and more indignant. How dare they? Um, uh, humiliate him like this and expose him and rid expose him to ridicule and I think that very fragile ego can't deal with being exposed to ridicule and the, and the knight of wands in reverse is somebody who is exposed to ridicule he um, it, is, is impetuous hot-headed um, reckless he is a player he is um not known for his fidelity and for sticking around and it may prompt some kind of almost break for freedom from prince harry i can't bear this i can't be associated i can't bear being associated with this family that obviously megan tried from the very beginning to protect him from shelter him from I protect is the wrong word uh, buffer him uh, um, hide from him she tried to hide them from him because she was ashamed of them she was ashamed of them and anything that you are ashamed of and try to hide eventually comes out and it may come out on a youtube channel just as it has now with thomas marco senior very embarrassing um, and a very public very very public very exposing particularly for Prince Harry. Meghan's energy is of, I think, 
be more concerned about the impact this is going to have on Prince Harry than the impact it's going to have on herself. She's got a real tough hide, that woman. Prince Harry is the skittish one, the sensitive one, the one who doesn't like being embarrassed and humiliated and is not going to take kindly to this. So that's your reading. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.